According to Ningxia TV, China approved a guideline on promoting the development of seven emerging industries, including new energy, in its latest move to combat growing pressure pointing to a sharp economic slowdown. The guideline details the direction and major tasks in the period to 2015 for the industries. Energy conservation and environmental protection, new generation information technology, biotechnology, high end equipment manufacturing, new energy, new materials, and green vehicles. Now, the State Council, China's cabinet, said it also approved plans to launch 20 major projects for the emerging industries, but gave no details of what support they might receive. Now, according to the guideline, the ownership of core technologies in pollution prevention, safe disposal of pollutants and recycling of resources should be highlighted in China's energy conservation and environmental protection industry, which should also promote clean production and low-carbon technologies. The information technology sector should speed up construction of next-generation information networks and make progress in the research of ultra-high-speed fiber and wireless communications technology and advanced semiconductors to enhance global competitiveness. For green vehicles, car manufacturers should speed up research in high-performance power batteries, motors and other key components. The guideline said that healthy development of the seven industries will mainly rely on a market that can play a fundamental role in allocating resources, forming an optimized policy environment and encouraging market participation. China's gross domestic product grew 8.1 percent from a year earlier in the first quarter. The slowest pace in nearly three years stoked fears of a hard landing. From last week, China has been unveiling measures to boost the economy at a time when some analysts forecast that growth may slip below 7.5 percent in the current quarter. They include subsidies for the purchase of energy-saving home appliances and cars using alternative energy and the expansion of private investment in some state-dominated fields such as railways, energy, telecommunications, education and health care. Xinhua News Agency said there won't be a stimulus package as aggressive as the 4 trillion yuan or $635 billion program adopted in 2008. The 2008 stimulus package was widely criticized for causing problems such as high inflation, overcapacity, bad loans and local government debt crisis.